So last Saturday, Nick premiered the Bunsen and the Bees Fairy Lab Parents crossover. I want to give you guys my review of what I saw. Now, this was actually a 24-minute episode. I'm very surprised because we saw, of course, last year, Teen Titans Go on PPG had a only 14-minute episode. Kind of sucked because we didn't get the full idea of a crossover. It was just a small snippet, very small episode. But... Overall, this crossover just really showed how oversimplified and generally dumb Bunsen and the Beast is as a series. Now, the crossover focuses on Bunsen hanging out with Cosmo to celebrate their six-month anniversary being friends. All right, so let's start off here. They're, Mikey and Bunsen are in their universe. They're talking about hanging out with Cosmo and how it's going to be cool and how there are fairies in the universe. And somehow Mikey already knows about Fairly Godparents. I don't understand that. That's the biggest odd thing in the world here no pun intended it just was weird to see that oh well he already knew about fairly godparents and all that why how uh then there's a selfie reference and as they're trying to go to the house you know um the evil girl amanda already just happens to hear them and now there's an enemy after them now literally three minutes in there's a running joke that happens and it's already done twice it's about a bomb. It's called, and they call it boom boom. Uh, they call TNT boom boom. I, I don't. Why these characters aren't any more intelligent than to call them boom boom is stupid. Just stupid. Uh, now we get to the uh, before he gets there. He gets before he gets to the Dimsdale universe. Bunsen has out of the blue three portals that just take him to wherever or four if I'm getting it wrong. Three or four portals that take him to different places. And the only one that's pretty much relevant is Dimsdale, obviously. Another one is a Black Friday portal for some reason. And I guess there was supposed to be a joke um, because they call back to it every couple times. It's supposed to be funny, but it's not really. When we get to the other side of the Dimsdale port, we see Timmy, Cosmo, and Wanda waiting for Bunsen. And it just seems to be open 24-7. On top of that, regular humans can just see it and go through it as well. Like, that's just... Weird, like they can just publicly walk down into this area like a subway station and see the fairies. Mr. Crocker is waiting for some reason. And Mr. Crocker particularly is also dumbed down. Um, There's no weapon. There's no tech from his lab. He's not immediately trying to capture them. He's just sitting there as if, like, mousetraps are going to catch them. He sees them right there. He can literally see them. We all know how his reaction would be, but he's so dumbed down that he's just going to sit back and allow, like, why was he even there? Why was he even there in the first place? Why couldn't just this just be hang out with Bunsen? But anyway, I, I digress. Um, before Bunsen even arrives, though, there's a bit of dialogue between Cosmo and Wanda that makes me think of the original era, the era before it got dumbed down, because this felt like dialogue that we saw between Cosmo and Wanda Really, in the beginning and in the 2000s, this was really good. I liked this. It felt very familiar, and I I was proud that they actually could write dialogue for maybe 30 seconds that felt familiar. Um, But then we see, you know, Bunsen arrive, and Mikey makes Timmy look like Jimmy Neutron. I'm serious. This is, my God, is, I I don't understand, but how stupid. Literally, the stupidest character in this entire thing either was Bunsen or Mikey. Mikey was so dumb, and he says that he's older than him, but I, I can't. I just can't. Like, the, Now, Bunsen arrives, and you actually get an idea of their friendship. You know, they're being stupid and fun, and they're having a good time with each other. That's cool, you know. But then we see overused jokes. You know, there's the confetti cannon out of the head, and that's used like two or three times in like three minutes. Here's the thing, right? Cosmo is dumbed down. Cosmo is dumbed down to the point that, you know, before, like before in the era, it was like, okay, Cosmo's just being partial comic relief. He's being a good, having a good time. He's just fun. He's cool, you know, and Wanda still loves him. What it seems like to me now is that Wanda is just dating a mentally special person. I'm serious. In this crossover, he's so stupid that one is like, God help me, I can't. This just doesn't make sense. And they really dumb Cosmo down. And I, I did not imagine that they'd actually have to dumb him down for Bunsen's Beast, but they, they had to. They had to. Um, Mikey just gets to wish from Cosmo and Wando without permission. Just, Alibu, I wish for this. It happens. Because he has, like, you know, uh, out of the blue now, he's like, Oh, Timmy, now can I wish? After I've already wished for things, can I now ask to wish? With your fairies. 
And Timmy's like, yeah, you can. And uh, then they go off and they uh, go from there. They go off and they disappear. And then we see Amanda get to the Dimsdale side of the portal. And the introduction between Crocker and Amanda starts off as creepy, but becomes actually the wittiest portion of the entire crossover. Like, they were going back and forth. It was funny. It was a good time. It was like, oh, this is this is good. And then it gets dumb and weird again. It gets dumb and weird. Like, the lot, like this one bit of introduction was pretty smart, and then it gets dumb later on. Um, since Butch Hartman forgot about all the other characters, like Poof and the dog and any, of other, any other Timmy friends that would have made more sense in this crossover, Timmy's dad is included and hangs out with them for the rest of this episode aj or anyone else would have made just like 10 percent more sense i don't know than timmy's dad and on top of that how can timmy's dad see the fairies in the first there are so many things here that i just sort of broke my brain that butch hartman seems to ignore everything that he's done for the past 15 years of these characters it just is irrelevant now because he's so like this is the dumbest point the dumbest point um now again the boom boom joke is used once again, to show how do- dumbed down this whole thing is, once, like I said before, Crocker would have called it TNT or something. He would have, I would have expected Amanda, once again, to say something smarter. But by the halfway point of this episode, it seems the only reason Bunsen, the only reason Bunsen is in this crossover, the only reason that Bunsen came into this universe is to make Fairly Odd Parents look dumb and stupid. Now, Crocker and Amanda are trying to capture the fairies and Bunsen, so, you know, the fairies and Bunsen, they get away, they wish to get to Bunsen's house. Uh, you know, apparently, Amanda and Crocker follow them, and suddenly when Mikey wants to wish some more, suddenly the, the wands are like fucking smart, are like smartphone batteries. They can't just wish, they, they just, they're like smartphone batteries. Um, now, again, the Crocker and Amanda relationship is just weird. Uh, I get really that they're similar, but she's not even a teenager and he's like 40. It just does not, it, do you, like, if you understand what I'm saying, it does not make sense and it's weird. It just, anyway, they, they, Amanda and Crocker, they want to really capture them and he brings in a piece of technology to capture the fairies and use to wish and whatever. And, um... Wanda, the smartest person in the room, doesn't even react really to the whole thing. Like, she doesn't even react. She's like, okay, and f- no one does. No one even cares. The, the reaction is not there. It's like, wh- why? What is the... So no one reacts, and uh, they get captured, and you know how the day is saved? Bunsen tickles Amanda. That's how the thing is resolved. Everything resolves with Bunsen tickling Amanda, the end. So at the end of it all, the series made me hate Mikey more than anything in the world, present how dumb Bunsen's the Beast is, and when Timmy seems brilliantly wise, and when Cosmo is dumbed down, what was the relevance or even point of this? This made less sense than the Teen Titans Go PPG crossover. I'm just generally incredibly disappointed in the fact that they didn't use any lore from teen, from the power, from uh, Fairly Odd Parents. They didn't use any lore from that. They didn't try at all to make a solid crossover. They just made it stupid. That was it. Just to make this whole thing stupid. No secondary characters. Nothing. Like, this was so bare bones. I am disappointed in Butch Hartman for making something so damn simple. We've seen him do better things. You know, I I just did a review with Mark about the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. Even at its dumbest... At least it was trying things. My God, this is so stupid. How can he stoop that low to make something? I mean, I loved Butch Hartman and everything. Tough Puppy, like Danny Phantom. Man, dude, you do great stuff. But this, are you kidding me, man? Jeez. But what did you guys think? I'm sure some of you guys liked it. But comment below and tell me your thoughts. I'm just, this was out. I I couldn't even do a script. I'd like just look at bullet points because it was so frustratingly bad. Comment below. Thanks for watching. I'm Brian Swan. Stay tuned for more, guys. I'm done.